Chào mừng quý vị quay trở lại với chương trình Tôi và Việt Nam trên kênh FBNC. Mời quý vị tiếp tục theo dõi phần trao đổi với ông Avi Savit, là trưởng bộ phận nghiên cứu an ninh nội địa và an ninh mạng đến từ Bộ Kinh tế Israel về chủ đề là an ninh mạng trong kỷ nguyên Internet và kỹ thuật số. Um, I want to hear from your experience um, what makes Israel becomes one of the top five countries in the world in cyber security. Could you share with us some of your experience and uh, some of your lessons yeah. that a, a, a country like Vietnam, we can, uh, we can learn something from it in terms of improved cyber security? Yeah, I think, first of all, I don't think we are one of the five. We are one of the three, not okay. one of the five. Fair enough. <laughs> really? Because I think it's go from the policy from the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. He decided more than two years ago that cybersecurity is a national effort. And when he decided that security is a national effort, mm. from then he established a new bureau that reported directly to him called the Cyber Bureau and their responsibility for the whole cyber aspects in Israel to start with the education of the people, of the student, even in the elementary school, the risk of the cyber. It's going to, through the university, build a new ecosystem in one of the bigger cities in Israel, in Be'er Sheva, mm -hmm. that put the university together with industry. Industry will, that come to Be'er Sheva will get more funds from the government in order to uh, produce new solutions in cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. And I think that way of thinking at the government level, at the country level that we need to fight together, that's something that's unique to Israel. And we put it on the table, like it's one of the main issues they're dealing today, and we give money to that, and then one of the reasons that I think Israel is strength in cybersecurity. The other thing is because Israel is an isolated country, most of the border are in a, are enemy countries. Hmm. We are not dealing with them very well. So we got a lot of fight and a lot of people that try to fight against Israel, not only in the physical world, but also in the virtual world, like the cybersecurity. Hmm. For example, from Iran or from other countries, they try to uh, establish, try to uh, damage Israel. Hmm. And that's the reason that in Israel we see the cybersecurity is a very huge effort. So I understand that the government must take a key role in this because this is security and this might relate to the security of a country. But what I'm asking right now is uh, if a private company wants to get into this industry, uh, like a tech startup, like an entrepreneur in you know, technology, they want to provide services in security. Um, in Israel, what is the policy between government and private enterprises in terms of providing the services in cyber security? I, I think it's close relationship within the government. The government, the government doesn't force the entrepreneur to to track this regulation, mm. but they give them money to the entrepreneur in order to they fund the entrepreneur in order to get new solution. They uh, escort and their partnership and mentorship these companies and the, all the, the supply chain food in order to make more secure their system. And from that, the policy of Israel helped them to do it mm -hmm. through the money. Even today, there are some insurance companies that make insurance to cyber attack. And they give you the insurance according to what level of security your organization is. So if your organization is more secure, then you get less payment for the policy of insurance. So would there be any plan for like training or cooperations of learning between Israel and, and Vietnam in the future if we want to learn more from, from Israel? I hope, because in Israel there we develop also some what we call simulators and training system, how to deal with threats that come to organization like bank organization or utility. There's a company that specify of training people to fight against, against the cybersecurity. So I heard that you, um, the government of Israel will organize a, um, a conference called HLS in November this year. Yeah. Um, could you tell us more about that conference? Yeah, the conference is organized by the Israeli Export Institute. It is part of the Ministry of Economy of Israel. 
and the focus on this uh, event will be in online security and cyber security, especially in infrastructure protection system, uh, preparedness of, man of uh, uh, emergency management, and cyber security as a whole. Uh, this is a unique event for all over the global to come to Israel. We organize it every two years. The, the previous one was in 2012. And the uniqueness is because it's not organized by a private company, by the government. And we arrange in advance all the meetings for all the attend that come abroad. For example, for Vietnam, if customer or supplier or system integrator or bank come to Israel, we can organize from them in advance meeting, one-on-one -on -one meeting with the client or with the customer or with the supplier that they want to, to meet according to the needs they send out the needs and we can comply, comply each to uh, another. So the, this event we can be very a uh, good opportunity to promote all the uh, cooperation between Vietnam and Israel, not only on the level of the company, but even on the level of the government to establish new platform, to make research and development platform, new, new uh, cooperation, new collaborative of Lyman. And I think this is a very unique uh, opportunity. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you very you. much. Appreciate I appreciate it. Những chia sẻ vừa rồi về chủ đề an ninh mạng của ông Avi Shavit, trưởng bộ phận nghiên cứu các vấn đề an ninh nội địa và an ninh mạng đến từ Bộ Kinh tế Israel cũng đã khép lại chương trình ngày hôm nay. Quý vị có xem lại chương trình trên website fbnc.vn hoặc là facebook.com/tôiviệtnam. Thân ái chào tạm biệt.